I'm here at the World Museum to take a sneak peek just before the opening on Friday of China's first emperor and the terracotta warriors. Come and take a look inside. Fiona, tell us what it means to you to see this actually in place now. Well, I'm really excited, to be honest. I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true for me to stage an exhibi exhibition like this in Liverpool. And I hope our visitors are going to be you know, as thrilled as we, as we um, hope they will be. It's been a few years in the making as well to actually get the, the Warriors and the other 180 artefacts in place. Tell us how it all came about. Well, we started off at the end of 2015 when we were actually approached by some of our Chinese colleagues and asked whether we would be interested in staging an exhibition. And since then, we've had about six or seven trips out to China, looked at the objects out there, we've talked to staff and... We um, then really got going, I guess, in, in earnest at the end of 2016. So since then, it's been full throttle, really, and we've, we've spent hours and hours and hours discussing what story we, we should tell, which exhibits we should exhibit. So a huge amount of work goes into creating something like this. John, tell us about the trails and what there is here for young visitors. We created a programme called The Rise of the Warriors, which is almost like an immersive theatrical experience for children, because we want them to have that sort of experience, that, that, that they can go away and have a fantastic time here. School groups also have exclusive access to the exhibition, don't they? Yes, at least one day a week. Um, they'll be able to get in here early when there aren't any other exhibition, uh, any, any other visitors here, and it will enable them to get a really good close look at everything. I'm joined by Phil from Jaw and Co's. Phil, tell us about what you've added to the exhibition made right here in the city centre. Well, yeah, what we were attempting to do was try and bring the world of the warriors to life. So obviously we have all the fantastic static artefacts in there and we wanted to bring some motion, some life to it, try and make you feel like you've actually gone down into the mausoleum and that sort of thing will never be seen in an exhibition without doing something like this.